surprised to be to be a player, you know, who, who give the extra entertaining you know, piece to the to the supporters. And when I feel them, you know, especially in the Marina at home, uh, then you you get an extra boost, you know, how they support us and uh, how they're really cheering us up. And uh, hopefully it will continue like that because we will need them uh, in good and bad time because that's also important. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm just I'm just enjoying it. You know, I'm just enjoying it. Uh, of course, if you do something special, something nice, then you feel that they will enjoy it as well. And not only that, it will be a, a lifetime memory if you do something great. You know, of course, I'm very happy and appreciate the support. It's actually very funny uh, speaking with the guys in the team. And I explained them, and I will do it now again. It's very simple. Anyone can do it, because if you are a defender and you are in your own box and you need to defend, there is only one thing. What if the player don't chop and you don't block and the ball goes in? Then the defender is responsible. So actually this is a trick that everyone can do. Uh, yes, you need a little bit of feeling. But as you can see, one of the best players in this time is doing it five, six, seven times a game, Kylian Mbappé. As you can see, or Osman Dembele, this is just a crowd, you know, Johan Cruyff did it, you know, and uh, secret. actually it's very simple, like I said, if I am a defender and someone comes up to me and he's doing like he's going to shoot close to the goal, I need to block, if I don't block and he shoots, then I'm responsible, at least I will block and if he do something special, yeah, then it's then it credit to him. Oh trusting in your own abilities. Uh, of course, uh, I'm, doing, I'm not doing it alone, we are all doing it together. You know, uh, if you can see against uh, uh, Odisha, we work really hard to come back in the second half. Okay, you lose the game, uh, but we're all doing well. You know, Ajit is trying to cross the ball, Peter is trying to flick it. Okay, I'm in the right, I'm in the right place at the right moment. It can be anyone. So I prefer to have one goal, one assist, and, uh, we will be third in the league, for example, at this moment, you know. Uh, cannot deny, personally, it's, 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 it's something nice, but we still have a long season to, to finish where we want to finish. And then it will be nice if I will have uh, those, uh, those numbers, but be in the right position in the league as well. It's, it's difficult to say something now, because I didn't have a clear picture yet. Like the experience from others, and I spoke with a few players who played here in the past. Where, when it began in 2014, 15, 16, and I think it develops a lot. You know, uh, especially look foreigners. You can all every year bring new foreigners, better players, and everything. But it's all about the local players if they get better or not because they are staying here. You know, we are coming, going, and uh, regarding that, I think it's developing a lot. You know, I see. Uh, some very good players. No, it's uh, 2022, you know, we are nearly going to 2023, uh, the world is small, you can connect everyone. I always say, if I really say something interesting through Instagram to Lionel Messi, to Benzema, to Iniesta, he will receive the message. But if he will see it and reply, that's something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it can happen, you know, and uh, of course, how I come here, yes, uh, for, for the last three, four years, I, will, I always get messages through Instagram from serious people, but also from not serious people. So you need to filter a little bit, and then you get also, you know, like messages from very serious big agencies from all over the world, not only India, you know, and then you keep in touch. You keep in touch, like I did with a lot of agents from different countries. I did also with India, and then uh, this came up. So it's true. Well, for me, it's very important to have a, a good link up with, with, with the coach, you know, to, to see how he thinks about football before I go somewhere. And that's also one of the reasons why uh, I stayed a little bit at home uh, without choosing for a club, because I didn't have a nice feeling to go to a club in Turkey, for example, or in Greece, where the league is very good. But I didn't have the link with the coach before I go, like a good conversation, how he thinks about football, how he thinks uh, I can suit in, into the team. And uh, in Chennai, and I had this with, uh, with our coach, and it was a quite good conversation. Not only one, actually a few before I come, 
So that's what makes me decision to come. And obviously, I heard already good things about ISL, and I was quite confident that I uh, can succeed and play some very good seasons. Yes, definitely. Of course, at the beginning, I need some time to get used to it. it's total uh, different culture, which uh, which is normal as a human being to to get used to. Uh, if I see the traffic compared with the traffic in in, in Holland, uh, you need some time to get used to uh, like. Uh, the, the trips to training ground and back, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, like heavy. You get a bit tired of it, but uh, just uh, just creating that uh, it's become a habit. You know, if it's if it's, uh, if it's becoming a habit, then everything is, is easier. And uh, I think now uh, I'm used to. It. And other things is also good. You know, to be honest, uh, our kitchen in Morocco is quite similar. A lot of spices as well. You know. As you can see in, uh, in, uh, in Morocco, we have that, and also here in India. So it was for me not a big change regarding the food. Uh, biggest surprise? Then I would go to the, for the professionality, to be honest. You know, how you see uh, the clubs, uh, not only Chennai, you know, also when I speak with other players from other clubs here, and how, it go how it's going in the club, uh, because the fans, the supporters, they only see 90 minutes of the game, but we are working every day hard to get the three points. And uh, we need to sacrifice, but not only the players. You know, if you see the good visuals we have, you know, if you see the massages, they are always ready to help you to to, to see how you how you feel physically, uh, but also mentally. You can speak with them, you know, and to have a good go the next day. I think that surprised me the most. The pitches are very good. Until now, I didn't think in all the stadiums, but until now, you know, when I see the pitches, it's like uh, very good uh, pitches to, to play a game on. So, uh, yeah, then I will go for the, for the, you know, like the organization wise, it's really surprising in a good way. We are just working hard, uh, you know, I'm enjoying it here at Chennai NFC. Of course, I said, you know, I had a good conversation with the coach, but I also spoke with the management. Uh, also, a good, uh, it was also a good conversation, you know, and, uh, feel home and it made me feel comfortable which is important but like we said in Chennai NFC you know we have very good players young players as well they are hungry to grow they are hungry to play and to develop and also to listen which is very important because I'm only here to help not to to do anything else you know and whatever I can I will help and uh, so that's one of the good things yeah. ah it's not fair to to mention one name because really uh, they are all doing well and I'm, all, I'm, I'm a player, you know, experienced player who always try to put his ears in the dressing room and see how they think and, and the voices and then I really feel that everyone wants to play. You feel also sometimes a bit of disappointments which is very normal to be disappointed if you don't play or if you don't get a lot of game time. Uh, you know, and if I, if I see then how they work, how they train, to, to be in the team, to be involved, that can be only a good sign for the future. Oof. Yes, uh, I think, you know, football is like, if you see players in this league, or Australia, or in Indonesia, or in Malaysia, then you judge them on how do you see them. But if they are in Europe, for example, with a good, good team, better players, better developed players, obviously, you know, number one sport is football over, over there in Europe, then it can lift them up, you know, and uh, yeah, there are, I will not mention a name, but there are players who can uh, easy, I will not say easy, but to, to be there and develop and become a better player, yes. Well, if you ask me the question uh, opposite side and you're telling me the season is going very well and we won three continuously, I will always answer the same, we have to keep on going, uh, we have to keep on doing the same things because you see a lot of things happening if, if you lose one or two games, a lot of changes, a lot of things doing different because only you lose. But you have to look through the through that picture and see uh, is the platform good, how are we playing, how are the basics, are you a little bit unlucky, you know, uh, why you lose and then if you look at that picture, then I think we are in a good way. We just need to, to continue, you know, and then the wins will come. That's, that's exactly what, what we are working on. Because if you 
see how many games we are playing good. Uh, play at home for me until now against the best side in the league, Mumbai City. And if you see how we play, so not only the 2-0 up, you know, the way how we play, the way how we press. Of course, they had a little bit more of the opposition, but they didn't create a lot. You know, you need to create chances. Spain had over 900 passes, and in my country, Morocco, maybe 250. And at the end of the day, it's about winning. Of course, it was two penalties, but I speak about the chances. Did they really create more chances than, than, than the opposite? I don't think so, because also Morocco, big chances, and that, that doesn't matter the level, you know? Uh, it's about, at the end of the day, how you create your chances. And if you see the game against Mumbai City, like I said, yes, you lose 2-6 uh, at home, which is very disappointing at the end. I know uh, professional football, it's all about the results. But also, we need to trust the process, you know, and see how it goes. And, but we have to grow and not to you know, repeat the same mistakes as a team. You know, if we do that better, I'm sure that we can, uh, can improve. But Hyderabad the same, I think, first 55, 60 minutes, good in control. Uh, you see uh, a great chance, very good pass from Edwin to all over the defense to Finzi. And uh, if Finzi scores those balls with his speed and with his technique, then it can be a different game. But if 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 you know there is no value, uh, but as players we have to take good do good things and to continue. Uh, India can 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 motivate more to play football, uh, create more things to, to to promote the sport football. You know, and uh, if they create more to to. In anything, you know, maybe creating more pitches all over the country. I know it's it's a massive country, but you get also something something very very nice back, you know, if you invest that much. So I think more investing in in, in facilities, in uh, getting better pitches all over the country. Not only clubs, just also publicly, you know, to to, to let the players enjoy, let the young kids, because it starts there. It all starts there. And then I'm sure Indian national team can always be. You know, maybe in 40 years or in 8 years also uh, in the World Cup. Why not? If you see also similar teams like Australia, like we said, South Korea. So also India can be there.